da, 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 da. How long are you gonna keep painting? Oh, that's a no. I'm I'm basically done. I'm gonna add an, I'm just gonna add another thing. Whoa, whoa! You might be wondering why the ranger is standing in front of the 3D modeled version of Explosive News Network, or also that the size comparisons all over the place. That's because we have a quick announcement to make. Mad Hen House has well, not not recently, uh, split up into four different channels. You have Mad Hen Plays, where you have all the, the, the Let's Plays, they're going to be exclusively there. The Hatchery, which has the Slab Lounge podcast and any rant. Uh, Mad Hen Animations, where all of our animations are, go are going to be stored. And the Base Channel, where, you know, the tutorials and shit are at. If you like what you're watching, please hit that like button. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you also enjoy this unscripted nonsense, and don't forget to share. This if you don't do any of those things, keep in mind, I'll find you, and then I'll verbally pee on you. Alright, let's do this. Welcome, game developers and <laughs> modelers to Doug Teacher's Blender. Yes. Okay, so... In this tutorial, we're going to paint this thing, but we're not going to use mesh paint. We're going to use something called Yucca Paint. So in order to get it, it's an add-on for Blender. You just look it up, you grab it, and then once you download it, you go to Edit, go to Preferences, search up Yucca Paint, check that bitch, and restart if necessary. Now, the reason why we need to use Yucca Paint is because unlike uh, Blender's default mesh paint, you can paint actually has layers, multiple images. You're not just stuck with one like you would in uh, mesh paint. So if you fuck up on mesh paint and uh, mesh paint image, you potentially might have to restart from scratch. However, in you can paint, if you fuck up on one layer, you you don't lose the entire image. You just have you just lose that one layer, which is fucking great. That being said, we're gonna be doing something stupid. What do you mean? So, in here, I'm in edit mode, right? So I'm just going to tab out, tab back in for edit mode. Or if you want, you can just, yeah. Uh, and with faces selected, I'm going to hit A for Apple to select all the, uh, all the faces. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and go to UV map and then smart UV project. I don't care about the defaults. I'm fine with them. Why is that? Because... For our purposes, for this table, it's going to be fine. It's a shit table. Um, the thing is, there's going to be some UV overlap. So if you really want this to be seamless, or if you don't want any textures to bleed on one side to the other, uh, yeah, you, you're going to have to, like, you know, make sure you're editing, your UV editing the right, the uh, proper way. That being said, I'm going to go to Quick You can Paint Node Setup. If you don't know how to uh, how to get to your plugins, hold hit the N for Nancy key. And you have a lot of shit. As for me, I have you, you could paint home builder and all that nonsense. So I'm just gonna hit that quick you could paint note setup. Uh so it's all it's gonna be like, hey, okay, do you want like metallic roughness, ambient occlusion? I'm gonna hit ambient occlusion um just because I want it there. Um and what type are we gonna do? Principal? Anyway, so I'm fine with the defaults. I'm gonna click OK. So now we have our shit little the uh, Kajigger. And I'm gonna fuck with, and don't, don't worry people, I'm gonna fuck with the other channels, like, you know, Ambient, and Metallic, Roughness, Normal, etc. We're gonna be fucking with them eventually. Um, but right now we're just one, I just wanna get this out of the way. So, we'll need a base color. Uh, and, I mean, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, I'm gonna hit Control Tab. Yeah, I'm in texture paint. Yeah, I just need to go to texture paint. Um, yeah, I'm shaded. Okay. Anyway, so let's pick a color. I'm going to hit this default value. I'm just going to go blue because fuck it. Now, what we can do is we're going to hit this plus. We're going to go into a new image. Uh, I'm fine with the defaults. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with the default. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to have 
a base color. So, do I want a base color? Yes. Well, yeah, I'll do a base color. Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to expand this. And in this base color, I'm going to choose green. And now I'm just going to paint the green. Yeah, you see it? See what I mean? Why? See that little green stripe? Sort of. Why? That's the UV overlap that I was talking about. Oh, shit. Is that bad? No, it's not the end of the... For, the pur for these purposes... For this purpose, no. It's fine. But, like, if you want to do something like... But if you're trying to do, like, a multi-story house, yeah, no, you, you, you can't you can't rely on, on that. So, what are you doing now? Why are you painting all that green? Because fuck it. But, like, let's say I want to... But actually, no. What's what's cool with this is uh, go to blend. I can multiply it, or I can darken. Uh, let's do the, let's try difference. Oh yeah, I didn't know you had oh, texture effects. Sweet. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'm gonna go back to mix. And now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply a mask to this thing. So, I'm just going to go to, I'm going to hit, uh, go to the mask, plus, new image mask, I don't give a shit about the name. We're going to leave it at white, because it's fine. Because white's completely opaque, black is see-through. Um, so, if I were to just do this, and if I were to just click... Oh, shit. Wait, can't you just erase it? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now, if you're like, uh, okay, I want to pay, I want to put an image on this bitch. We'll do that. I'm going to go to new layer. Right. Hey, said new layer. I'm going to go to a new image. I don't, I don't care about the name. Uh, I'm going to redo this. And then what I can do is, I believe it's under texture. And then if I hit new, if I click on this, and then I hit open, I go to documents, and I'm going to go to what, uh, give me, I'll just go to logo, logo stuffs, harmony. Why? Wow. Uh, Give me something from Harmony. The Cyborg Tribe. Okay. Da, 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 da. Cyborgs. Now, we can paint this. Holy shit! Hmm. Wait, why is it green? Uh, if I go to the thing... I go... If I just hit... Yeah, let's go there. Oh, nice! Yeah. So you can paint images. Ah, uh, can you? All right, can you do something about the tiling? Yeah, you can just go here. And you could. I could. To be, to be fair, I have no idea what like some of the effects are. Like, uh, I wonder. What, I don't know what three D does, or or stencil. Ah, uh, what? Huh. Okay. I wonder what random does. Oh, I think it just randomizes the, the location or whatever. Huh. Uh, let's do 10 by 10 for the image size. Oh, for the image tiling. Okay. Oh, so size is for the image tiling. Cool. So let's do 0 0.01 by 0 0.01. Because that should, in theory, make this bigger. Yep, it's bigger. So, 0.5 by 0.5. Scales it up. Ah! Hmm. Texture mask. Do I want to do a texture mask? Okay, let's do a texture mask. Let's open... 
let's go back to here digital media harmony uh i love fun uh i love this see what this looks like hmm. dude that table looks fucking stupid i know How long are you gonna keep painting? Oh, that's a no. I'm I'm basically done. I'm gonna have an, I'm just gonna add another thing. Um, actually, no. I don't need to add any more layers because this is basically it. This is all I needed to show. When are you gonna? So what? Can we export this? You need to export the textures as well, and we're gonna get to that. Tom we're gonna tomorrow, next week. Why not do it now? Um, mainly because, you know. People want to, if they still want to fucking paint, let them fucking paint. I mean, this is just, this is a thing, you know? Just let them have their, let them have their way with Yuka Paint. This is actually a very good tool, um, despite my ugliness right here. Uh, that being said, uh, yeah, end it here, narrator. And there you have it. Tune in next week for Matt Hen Doug teaches Blender. What are you going to, so, wait, let's, let's say this is all said and done. What's the next thing for Blender after that? Mm, you know... Um, I might do cloth. I know I'm gonna have to do cloth. Ugh. And possibly, like, eventually I'm gonna have to work my way up to doing vehicle importation, and that's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass and a half. Anyway, uh, end it here. Alright, well, see you next week. Are we saving this down? Hell no! Alright, fine, I'll see. No! <laughs>